guys to sign in before you get too comfortable. I don't know that I can do this with a microphone and like all of our, our stuff me, that we're used to. Let me unmute it and let me get it started. We'd like to call to order tonight the Regional Planning Commission meeting of Thursday, June 13th, 2024. Um, we will call our meeting to order and begin with the Pledge of Allegiance. comment is designated for discussion only. The public has the opportunity to address the commission on any matter not appearing on this agenda. However, no action may be taken on a matter raised until the matter itself has been specifically included on the agenda as an item upon which action may be taken. Any public comment will be limited to three <coughs> minutes per person. Do we have any public comment at this time? Yes. Would you like to come up and just state your name for the record? Yes, my name is Deborah Gay. I live out on Rose Creek Road, and uh, we're right now in the process of fighting the crossroads paper mill that's supposed to be coming up right next door to my house. Um, so what I wanted to bring to your attention is that that property out there, all Rose Creek Road, I've been informed, well, kind of informed, that the whole road is supposed to be industrial uh, because it's called the industrial loop, but no word can I find where it is. Um, this company that's moving out there they're in the process of trying to buy this property and it's zoned in three it's a 234 acre parcel that they're going to try to do an m3 i called and asked about the m3 m3 has to be redesignated to in industrial my question is on m3 which i will be getting a hold of hopefully betty and getting this uh looked at M3 zoning is open grazing and, and it's really made for the ranchers uh, for their their way to work the property. It's not for industrial, light industrial or any kind of industrial, it has to be rezoned. But we started looking at some of the properties around Winnemucca, Humboldt County and Galconda and there's a company out there, zoned M3 and it says light industrial on an M3 zone. And I, I want to know how that could have happened. That was done back in 1995, but it's still zoned M3. And it says right on it, light industrial. That shouldn't have happened in my, that scares me because that means that can they just flip this M3 into light industrial just because they want to? I want somebody to look into this for me because that is to me is not a good idea, not a good thing. And for them to be able to use M3 as light industrial when it has nothing to do with industrial, we've got M1, M2, that's industrial. M3 is not industrial, but yet in Golconda, that diamond company is under M3 and it says light industrial. We looked it up on the map the other day. That scares me that we're doing something that we're not supposed to. And I, want, I would really, because I don't want this company coming in, we're ag out there. Everybody out there is agriculture. We should not be allowing big corporations to come in and use up our, our stuff in the ag, under ag and M3. I, I'm, I just hope we, we all look into this before we allow a company like that size coming in and destroying our, our everything. Thank, Thank you. you. Yeah, so those are good questions for Betty. Um, the board, this board hasn't seen anything from that company yet. Oh, not yet, coming, but you coming will. in front of us yet at this point. Is there anyone else in the public that would like to comment at this point? No, if not, okay. So we are going to move to um, C on our agenda. This is the review, correction, and approval of minutes from the April 11th, 2024 meeting um, for discussion and possible action. Has everyone on the board had a chance to review the minutes? Yes. Does anyone 
we have any questions or anything that needs to get changed that we've noticed? No. Okay, so if not, I will um, take a motion to approve the minutes. I'll make a motion to approve the minutes for April. I'll second the motion. Okay, the motion has been motioned and seconded. Um, all in favor, say aye. 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 Any opposed? Aye. Okay, seeing none opposed, the motion passes to approve the minutes. Um, item D, request for postponement of agenda items. Have you, have there been any um, requests for postponement? I need to be okay. All right, so we're gonna move into the public hearing section of our meeting. Um, we'll begin with item A. This is a, um, this is RX-24-06, a zone change application. Um, submitted by Herminia Arredondo to change the zoning designation from R-1-6 single family residential, 6,000 square foot minimum lot size, zoning designation to R-2 multiple family residential zoning designation. The subject property is located at 641 West 6th Street, assessor's parcel number 15-03388-16, for discussion and possible action. Is the uh, applicant here uh, for this item tonight? No, okay. Um, any public comment related to this item? If not, we'll close the floor and bring this back to the board. Does anybody have any questions? related to this item, I'll take a motion. Um, I'll make a motion to approve uh, staff. This is a, a, sorry, let me keep it, it's a recommendation. Oh, okay. okay, for, to the city. To the city, okay. Um, I'll make a motion to recommend approval of uh, staff report RZ2406 um, of the zone change application to rezone the property from R1-6 to R-2 to the city council. Um, based on there's no evidence that the zone change would have any adverse effect on the public. I second it. Okay, so the, this has been moved and seconded. Um, we will go ahead and vote. All those in favor say aye. 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 Any opposed say nay. Okay, this has been approved. The motion passes. We will go ahead and move to item B. This is SP-24-02, a site plan review application submitted by Michael Jensen with Jensen Homes Inc. to review a proposed manufacturer home sales business with display models in office. Subject property is located off Bourbon Circle, a 45,000 square foot portion of the assessor's parcel number 16-0491-34 for discussion and possible action. Is the applicant here? Yes. Would you like to come up and sit up and, and um, state your name for the record? Michael Johnson. Okay. okay. Would you like to tell us a little bit about your project? Um, the project is to put a manufactured home retail office and display um, on south east end of Bourbon, southwest end of Bourbon Street, um, up against the same place, uh, the end of the, the street that ends in the last chunk of it is there. So it's back behind Good Morning Furniture's old building. Oh, okay. Off, uh, off my side. Um, it's a zone industrial property. And so this is a perfectly good use of industrial property. So uh, we've you know, been in business 50 some years. We've been doing business down here for 50 some years. Um, they've had business licenses going for 20 years. So you know, it's just kind of time to make a little bit more of a presence. Yeah. So you plan on plan on putting homes out there, but but certainly we're not having people living out there, is that right? Right, right. It's just display only. There won't be any in the actual homes themselves, there won't be any utilities in there. <coughs> there won't be anything else. So, so walk through <coughs> and yeah, if I like that one, I'll take it or I'll order one just like it. Okay. Okay. <laughs> so, um, I see here that you have the three is that kind of what's the amount of that's kind of what we're thinking for to start um yeah or yeah. you're not going to have like jobs lined up and make it yeah i you know that's a lot of housing <laughs> yes <laughs> a lot of inventory <laughs> that's a lot of inventory so oh you know four is a good number <laughs> there you know to start with and if things change you know we can always come back or something but i don't know that you know yeah 
that seems to be a remarkable number. I've got another lot with you know, a dozen homes, so we've got plenty of inventory mm -hmm. to meet demand quickly. So I guess I had a question on the parcel. So are you the owner of the parcel? No, I'm not. Okay. I just was wondering kind of the, so you're you're locating this on the back end of the parcel, which is actually kind of closest to the, the residential area and not, not the front end off of Grass Valley Road. So it's right. more, right. it's more back towards the residential area. Yes. So what's happening with the rest of the part? What's your rationale for putting it all the way back to the back by the, Quite honestly, because that was the parcel Miller's offered to me, the owners of it. Right. Um, they, I don't think they have plans everywhere else, and there's certainly no plans on the lower part. Um, they had, you know, Honeywell came out and moved a lot of dirt for. Yeah. Uh, yeah, some of it, they did move a lot of dirt up there. Yeah, but there's no plans, and I'm the only one that you know was in discussions with them as last I spoke to. Um, so you're just using parcel. a small part of using, their parcel. Exactly. So I, uh, you know, there's I think there's two parts of it. There's the lower part closer to Grass Valley, and there's the upper part closer to Bourbon, right, right behind the furniture store. And there will be at the end of the upper part towards the sagebrush, um, and there'll be two. I, you know, I think there's room for two more one-acre spots, kind of, yeah. you know, on the upper part between me and the Good Morning Furniture Store. Any plans for lighting or Security. signage or anything um, back there? We haven't, without knowing you know, exactly what we we're going to be approved for, um, yeah. you know, there would be no no car dealership lights, the big you know things that stick out there. The only one you know at most it would be on the office, you know, porch light for security and yeah. you know just to make it look like it's you know um, occupied and present or something. But no, nothing to nothing to shine into the neighborhood. Do you guys have the security cameras and stuff that you utilize to, to protect yourselves? And the, yeah, yeah. I mean, it's, you know, those things are now yeah. $400 at Costco for a dozen of them or whatever. Yeah. So you stick them everywhere now. Yeah. But, um, so that would be nice. And how many units you say you plan on putting up here? Probably four, you know, an office and then three display models. The office will be, a, you know, is, is a display model, right? It's an actual unit that, um, you know, hopefully people would. Say, yeah, I like this plan better than that one. Yeah, you gotcha. yeah. And you'll have parking that's on the park on the property, and you know it doesn't look like you're um, expecting you know a lot of traffic or anything to be generated. I'd love for it to be, but yeah, it's not. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, there's going to be one or two employees a day, and there's going to be you know yeah. one or two customers a day. Yeah, yeah. That's, and that would be you know high volume traffic. Right. Yeah. And your office will be considered a display home too, so yes. you'll be working out of an actual true home. Yeah, yeah. And we'll hopefully, you know, change it out every Move so often on. as, you know, colors change or, you know, that type of stuff. So, um, Do you guys have type of new plan to have that one set up with facilities and stuff on it? Yeah, so there'll be power to that one, uh, mm -hmm. sewer, water, uh, sewer and electric to okay. that one. Yeah, and then, um, yeah, that would be there. I don't, you know, at this point, I don't even envision storing any equipment or materials there. Um, and you have no finesse in town, do you? No. This is what, this is the first one you put in? The first retail location, yeah. Oh, okay. We do a lot of work in town, and we've had the business licenses, and we have the dealer licenses and all that for years and years. Mm -hmm. And it's just the first time I've actually had the physical presence with the office. Okay. Um, Janet, buy a home. <laughs> I'll sell it for you. <laughs> <laughs> anyone in the public that would like to address the applicant? What kind of fencing where, will there would be? Would you like to come up, please, and then state your name for the record? <coughs> yes, yeah, since you're recording us. <laughs> <laughs> I was just wondering, when you were talking about security and everything, what kind of fencing will will be for the, the part of the parcel you're on? No fencing for us. So no... See that, like to me, is like, well, what about security lighting and stuff like that? Because if you don't have fencing to keep people out, like at night, that would that would be my concern. Don't really have yeah, the one in town don't have fence either. either. I'm a pretty yeah, they don't. I'm a pretty trusting person. And, mm -hmm. But it's know. just it's a residential area. That's what kind of makes me wonder about that. Along that area, though, is so industrial with because it'll be right by. I mean, I realize yes, with circle or town circle, but there is. 
put up right below it is industrial. And then yeah. you have the church and stuff along that way too. Well, I'm just wondering with having industrial right next to residential, residential. to have something that would actually, you know, give the residents peace of mind and not something that would entice people to come in and hide behind, you know, empty homes at night, that type of thing. That if I were living there, I would want more security for that to kind of prevent that sort of thing from happening, having industrial so close to residential. All right, thank you. Um, as a business owner, those are decisions that, that you make uh, for your business. All right, do you guys have any of these like located in the in the resident or closer to residential and had any issues? Um, our other office has been at times. It's now the resident getting pushed farther away. Just to go up and out. Um, yeah, you know, I mean, the houses are long there. They're secured. Um, there's not a lot of. You know, a lot of novelty to go play anyway. There's no equipment, there's nothing too interesting for kids type stuff. Um, you know, the the once in a while somebody breaks in and steals a furnace, yeah, you know, yeah. The thousand dollar furnace is still cheaper than the hassle of the fence, fence that quite honestly looks like that. Right. Well cheap, it, so. I mean you just don't that sometimes when you have gone south and somebody wants yeah. a furnace, yeah. That's really so if you'd like to come up and address the applicant. Just give us your name for the record. My name is Daniel Brinkhorn. I really don't have any questions. I, mean, I was just curious of who the owner of the property is. Um, Miller. Miller Enterprises, I believe, is how it's. Yeah. Um, okay. yeah, that's a family. Okay, that's all I was curious because it wasn't mentioned here. Hardly thought you'd hear anything. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, any other public comment? I was going to ask Betty. So specifically, that's zoned M1, correct? It is zoned M1, but anything allowed in the city zoning for general commercial is allowed in the M1. Are there any fencing requirements no. for M1? No. Okay. Thank you. No. Hey, state your name. I didn't get your name. Christina Carrington. Thank you. Okay, so um, we'll bring this back to the board for any further discussion or questions for Betty on this item. There aren't any. Let's we'll go ahead and take a motion on this item. Go ahead. We're going to do it because we be buying the house. I'm going to let you go, her. I'll make a motion um, for staff report SP 2402 um, that we approve the site plan review application. All right, so the motion was moved and seconded. Um, we'll go ahead and take a vote. All those in favor say aye. 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 Any opposed, say nay. Okay, seeing none, the motion passes. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Thank you. Now we know when people ask us what's going on. <laughs> Thank you. It's been gossip, right? Yeah, thank you for giving me something to tell them. You know, I'll count the gossip. Exactly. Yeah. And I wish I knew that, you know, a good story on the rest of it, but there is no story right now. Was, yeah. You know, as of last night, checked. So. Yeah. All right, we'll go ahead and move on to item C. This is UH 24 03, a conditional use permit application submitted by AL Brinkhutter to allow a construction yard for storage slash rental. Subject property is located at 5230 Crowdale Circle, assessor parcel number 13-0102-08 for discussion and possible action. Um, I think the applicants here, if you'd like to come up and um, address the board, tell us about what your plans are. My name is Daniel Brinkhutter. Uh, I own that parcel myself. It's uh, gonna be for expense. One, basically a little over one acre parcel. It's gonna be used for uh, storage with no real access to it as far as it's going to be nobody coming and going, there'll be no employees. Yeah. We may use it for a bus parking lot, we may use it for storage. I may use it or I'll, I'll, or I may rent it out. I own the parcel across Plowsdale from it and I own the parcel across uh, West Wind Bucket Boulevard from it. And all of those are in this, being used the same way. 
there's no nothing to do with people there except if a person drives a car in there, parks, walks over, safety checks the bus, gets in the bus, and drives off, locks the gate. But, it, but as far as lighting, if any lighting would be shining down as a as a soft turret, as a soft light from the uh, from the powerful which NV Energy normally supplies for that. But, so there'd be no spotlight shining out or anything like that. And at this point, I don't believe there's a light on that. Any additional questions or questions for Betty? All right, if not, I will um, take a motion on this item. Yeah. I'll make a motion for staff report UH 24-03 to approve this conditional use um, permit to utilize a portion of the 1.25 acre parcel as construction storage rental property or um, landlord construction work based on the there should be no adverse effects on to the abiding properties or the concerns of those properties. Second. Okay, we have a motion and a second. Uh, those in favor, say aye. 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 Any opposed, say nay. Okay, the motion passes. I think you're killing it at the second. <laughs> bye, thank you guys. <laughs> thank you. Okay, so are we done? Yep. <laughs> yeah. I'll send you're good. Good choice. Good choice. Good choice. You're good. Have a great day. Thank you. All right. You have fun. Huh? You have fun. <laughs> See you later. All right. We are going to move on to item D. This is UH 24 04. It's a conditional use permit application submitted by Fred and Tammy Anderson slash Dan and Yvette Yolan Rolando to allow the future development of a commercial camping spot. At this time, the property will be utilized by family members and friends. Subject property is located at 35901 Sheep Camp Road, Denio, Nevada. Assessor's parcel number 02-0301-25 for discussion and possible action. Are any of the applicants here for this tonight? No, they're actually out on the property. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> they can't even probably call in if I don't have <laughs> good cell service out there. Okay. So, um, any questions from the public related to this? We probably won't be able to answer it since the applicants aren't here, but any any questions the board has? So what, they plan on putting a campsite out there? Yeah, that they're, I mean, it sounds like initially for family and friends that they're gonna develop some, some campsites with the intention of maybe- But not for the public. Eventually, that's why he's doing this, because he's thinking about it. it you know, it's Fred Anderson drilling, so when he retires, you know, something to do. Um, but it would be for hunters. Like, it's not gonna be anything fancy. He does, he's aware he has to put in like utilities and a back rooms and things that you would find. He's aware of that. Yeah. That was my question, is yeah, that they were gonna be that. putting in yeah. some. Yeah. But he doesn't like know that. if that is even what he wants to do. But he wanted to kind of get his foot in the door yeah. to get it approved and then work on it for the next year. There's nothing out there now. You got buildings or anything out there? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think the picture shows. I can see that, but I didn't know if you. It looks like right now it's packed in, packed out, no garbage. Or yeah, anything. it is. And I'm sure that's how they'll probably keep it. I, yeah. There's a pond. It looks like there might be a couple buildings out there. And that, because that pond, isn't that the hot springs itself? Isn't I, that the hot springs? They just recently bought it from, actually, I think, Rolando's grandparents, uncle, somebody mm -hmm. had it, and they bought the property. They haven't owned it that long. It is a big property. It's like it's 140 acres, so. Yeah. They have, like, plenty of room. To and how far off the main highway is this? How about the accent, too? Um, how about the accent? <laughs> I don't know. The map, of course, the map shows you where the State Route 140 is and then where the parcel is. It's maybe half a mile. Uh, if you look at the, if you look at the sections, each, each section is a mile. So they're not going to be doing a lot of development, basically. Just no, it's just going to be. I would almost say probably dry camping. A uh, what camp? 
Dry County. Dry County. Oh, dry. I thought you said Dry County. I, I wonder how close utilities even are to this. So it might be, yeah. it might be kind of hard to get stuff in there. All right. Well, any, any questions? Or I mean, I think that is probably a, one of those things that it's nice to have with somebody thinking about being able to do, do some kind of out of it. Mm -hmm. So if it has the potential to and to have hot springs around it, that would be great. I'm not a camper. <laughs> I like you being right in the hotel. <laughs> you ain't gonna get your brother on the ground. I'll tell you that right now. I did have one question. You may know this, Betty. It did say that the property will have 12-hour access. What does that look like? What are their hours? I just, like, don't. I think you just put that in there because they have. <laughs> I don't know that they have hours. I mean, yeah. Yeah. And was maybe they, like in their long-term plan, they have like if they have people that like, like during daylight or yeah. something. Yeah. yeah. Maybe they like six, check into the spot. Yeah. They can situate it so we'll just be there for 12 hours a day. Yeah. Okay, well, if there's no other discussion on this item, I will entertain a motion on this. Um, I'll make a motion on SAC 4 EH 24 04 that we approve this conditional use permit, permit to utilize 41. Or to utilize the 41.780 um, acre parcel as future development of commercial camping spots. I'll second that motion. Um, we'll go ahead and vote on this. Uh, those in favor say aye. 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 Any opposed say nay. Okay, the motion passes. All right, last item, item E. This is UH 24 05. A conditional use permit application submitted by Matt Moore with Complete Wireless Consulting Inc. as agent for Verizon Wireless to allow placement of a 155 foot high lattice tower and associated ground equipment for an unmanned telecommunication facility. The subject property is located at 29100 Lone Tree Mine Road, a, um, a 70 by 70 portion of accessor, assessor's parcel number 07-0381-21 for discussion and possible action. Is the applicant here? Great, if you'd like to come up and state your name for the record and tell Hello us about everyone. your project. Um, Hi. Matthew Moore, I am an agent for Verizon and also for this project, uh, Complete Power Tower. So it's good, good. can you give us some better services? <laughs> <laughs> Especially this area. This area right here, you know. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying. So, let Betty know, send me some emails, I'm all forward to my application. <laughs> <laughs> This is pretty straightforward. It's a 155 foot tall tower. Um, Verizon's going to take the top spot, but Tower Co's intention with the pipe through tower and the size of the lease area, which is 70 by 70, is to have attract other people to co-locate there as well. Um, it'll be accessed directly off of uh, Lone Tree Mine Road. Um, the parcel is in the M3 zone, but it's currently developed as a mine, and so we're going to go on the mine property itself. Um, kind of in the front edge between some buildings and a parking lot that's there. Um, and really, so I think, yes. And really, the main, I think, the boy is, I don't know if you guys got to look at yeah. everything, but yeah, yeah, we're trying to fill this <laughs> area here. And mm -hmm. so, when we put this tower here, it fills that gap along the freeway and can just connect all the towers running along 80 there. And so that way, it enables we call seamless handoff in between towers so you're not dropping calls you're not dropping you have your you know your maps going or something like that or you're talking to people it'll, your data will keep running and it'll just go from tower to tower i think i get about if i'm trying to have a conversation on my way to elko i think i get about three spots where i have three different areas where i have to like well, this will take care of one of them definitely this will take care of one of them <laughs> Yeah, and if you want to point out the others or give us some locations to look at, we're happy to do it. So. And I can't, I can't remember if you guys didn't have calls here from there. I think maybe a couple years ago I appeared remotely because that's where I talked to you all. <laughs> so familiar to you. I was sitting over there like, oh, I'm still over here. We, we've had quite a, few, quite a few of these um, communication towers and things come through the board. So. Yeah. But it's nice that you're providing because last one, AB195, um, the applicant did the same thing with showing before and after coverage. And I think that helps. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's the, the best way to show why we're, we're listening to you. 
Oh yeah, especially just for safety. You know, public public safety. If someone has an accident yeah. and you know you can't get a hold of you know nine one one or something, so that's that's yeah, that's good. Yeah, it's in the mind copy to have to have other you know doing their operations. So that's that's good yeah. because that's most of the time when people come here and want these towers, we, we with the residential areas we got to fight them for it. You know, so yeah. we we happy to hear that you're putting it out there like that. I think it'd be great. Yeah. Are there any members of the public that um, would like to comment on this item? No? Okay. All right. Um, seeing there are none, let's just bring this back to the board. Any, any questions for Betty or any further discussion that you can have on this? I think at this point, you guys have done several and your compliance is probably pretty straightforward as far as lighting and safety and all that stuff. Yeah, okay. there'll be no, we're not proposing any lighting like on top of the tower. Um, the only lighting associated will be downward facing work lights within the interior of the case space itself in case there's any night going or disturbance. And once it's put up, it just requires like maintenance. Some people need to be there all the time. Oh, no, no. I mean, it will be um, actually, I mean, because there's so many along the freeway, you know, they'll do periodic once every six weeks to two months or something. And then they're all monitored from offsite. And so only if there's an emergency and the lights start flashing, which is not right now. Okay. All right. So if there aren't any further questions, we'll go ahead and um, have a motion on this item. Come on, buddy. You want yeah. to second it, though? I'll make the next one. I'll be making a lot of it. I promise. Uh, I'll make, I'll make the motion for staff to report you um, H-24-05. Uh, we recommend approval of this conditional mm -hmm. use uh, commit, the installation of a new 155 uh, foot tall lattice tower with associated ground equipment. I'll second. Okay, we have a motion and a second. Um, We'll go ahead and vote. All those in favor say aye. 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 Any opposed, nay? Okay, the ayes have it. Uh, the motion passes. Thank you. Yeah. So you were going to get a hold of the drop calls on any of the after this power. Ready <laughs> first. Okay. 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 <laughs> okay, we're going to move on to um, our second um, time allotment for public comment. Again, all public comment spots will be kept to three minutes um, and if there's no public comment thank you thank you which does not appear that anyone is interested in making any further public yeah. comments at this point so we will go ahead and adjourn to our july 11th 2024 regularly scheduled meeting at 5 30 p.m I'll be a shit to my I mean, I got the, 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 the